Hey Zoe, uh, Travis here. Uh, thought I'd record a quick video answering your question. Uh, excellent question, by the way. Uh, so that piece, let me see if I can find the actual page. That piece is, is an actual remnant of an older, um, I guess, pre-Gutenberg plugin that we built. So if you go into services, and this is where you're actually editing the services right now. That looks great. That's perfect. So, uh, so what's happening is the services page is actually pulling in the info from this tab right here. And here's all the Latin filler text. And so uh, you can just go in and then hit delete. Uh, this is a tool. So if, if we want um, items to be, uh, I guess, uh, contracted and expanded, that's, that's what you would use here. So that's kind of how we use that. And so I'm just gonna move all these to the trash. There we go. And now when we uh, uh, go to the services page, those should all be empty. Just like this. There we go. So that's that's how you can fix that. If you wanted to move those into uh, that piece, you could. Uh, but I would wait to talk to Franklin because I think we're moving away from that. He just wants to go with one simple page uh, and potentially just make this or that that uh, piece kind of an add-on, some, some sort of um, expanded section builder. Because uh, the way it works is the sections page uh, displays all of those in bullets and then uh, they'll also have a call to action. Uh, you can see that call to action there and then it'll also pull in the phone number and all that stuff. Um, so it kind of makes it really, really nice and neat and adds all the marketing stuff. Uh, and so it is kind of an upgrade uh, for this overall thing. But for most sites, this is really what they're just looking for. It's just a simple page with all the um, simple, simple descriptions, I guess, of, of what they do. So that's kind of how that piece works. Um, one other thing it does is when, uh, so say you, you add maybe three services with this expandable content kind of system. Uh, it also automatically builds out the sub pages, uh, and that's why we have this drop down here. So uh, in order to fix this drop down piece, uh, we just need to go in here and actually go to menus from here. And uh, we're just going to remove uh, these services here because they automatically get added. Oops, come on, there we go. And we'll remove this, and there we go. And so that should handle everything. So now when we hit Save Menu, we go back to the home page. Uh, services should just be its own link. And there we go. So that's, that's how you do that. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, other than that, I'll talk to you at 4.30 today. Thanks. Bye.